Swift Current Research Site. It's one of several sites in the Saskatchewan River Basin, and uh, our site is operated by Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. There are three long-term runoff plots, and we are doing process-based work there, trying to understand where water goes when it rains, where snow melt goes, and what flow pathways the water takes to water bodies draining the region. So we're interested in what are the drivers of runoff at different times of the year. In most instances, runoff only occurs on hill slopes under very special circumstances. In order to understand why those arise, we need lots of data. We've been here now for two years working on this site, but the site has been active for 52 years under Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. So we have 52 years worth of rainfall, runoff, snowmelt, and other catchment specific data that we can use to answer our research questions on the processes that drive snowmelt runoff generation. So these are some soil cores that we brought back from the Swift Current site. And we're doing lab experiments on these cores where we freeze them with different water contents. And then we look at how easily the soils can infiltrate water of different temperatures. So the idea is to try to use this as a, as a way to understand how the previous fall soil moisture affects the runoff in the spring, given how important the water content at freezing is. So if soils are very wet when they freeze, water runs off. If soils are dry when they freeze, a lot of water then goes into the soil profile. There are traditional flumes and uh, meteorological instruments that have been used to quantify the amount of uh, moisture coming into the soil and the hill slope plots and the amount of runoff. Some of the tools that we've brought to bear on the problem uh, include isotope tracing of water where we track the fate of the water molecule as it melts from the snowpack and we then monitor its movement to the outlet of the field. And we study the mixing in the soil profile and try to understand uh, aspects of the memory of these uh, hill slopes to past rain events and how it affects then the, the movement of water during a, a melt or, or rainfall event. The Swift Current site is a particularly good site for graduate student training and research uh, because of the existing infrastructure. Students there see how government scientists are collecting data. Uh, the site is, is quite accessible and students can see how their measurements fit within this 50-year uh, data record. We're also bringing uh, new innovative techniques to bear at these research sites and students are able to use this as an outdoor field laboratory. My research is trying to understand the partitioning of water infiltrating into the soil and the water flowing over land. So ultimately that's looking at water availability in groundwater resources and surface water resources, which is important for us to understand how much water we have available for wildlife, for agriculture and for human use. Research at this site is important because most of our understanding of hill slope runoff comes from regions of the world that are humid and have steep topography. We're filling in a gap in our knowledge by studying runoff processes in this semi-arid, quite flat landscape that we could extend to other landscapes of the world, such as the steppe of Eastern Europe and Central Asia. The cover characteristics, the crops, the tillage practices, greatly influence how rain and, and melt events infiltrates and moves on the land surface. And with the changing climate comes changing melt rates, changing snow magnitudes, and we're trying to use the long-term record to understand how variability gives us very contrasting responses and with an eye to looking into the future. This work relates directly to the uh, themes of the Global Institute for Water Security, especially the, the climate theme and the land use theme. Uh, this work is focused on short-term and long-term uh, responses, I guess, to changes in climate and land use. It also speaks to the uh, reconstructed landscape theme within the Institute uh, because some of our work is using the swift current response as a, as a proxy for what we might expect in uh, reclaimed landscapes in the oil sands, for example. <laughs>